Hey guys, it's Ed Gannett again, coming to you with the uh, state of real estate for 2020. Uh, two weeks ago, I did a video summarizing the real estate market for 2020 and kind of recap the whole market. And what I decided to do is I'm going to do this video plus one more on how the real estate market did in 2020. This video is going to be a breakdown of neighborhoods or areas in Savannah. I broke it down into eight neighborhoods. And as you can see on the slide, um, the first one is uh, Isle of Hope, Dutch Island, Skidaway Island Landing, Southside, Wilmington Island, Tulane Island, uh, Whitmarsh Island, Downtown Savannah, Historic Savannah, uh, Georgetown, Tybee Island, and Pooler. Um, interesting to see that uh, Whitmarsh, Tulane, and Wilmington had the largest increase in um, value. Uh, uh, they went up the most, 15%. Um, and the least was Isla Hope and Dutch Island. I would have been very surprised at that. You can also see then that uh, Southside was the second, and then Skidaway Island Landings was the third, uh, with Southside being the most affordable neighborhood to live in at $187,000, uh, uh, roughly $187,500. Uh, that's the average price of the homes there on the Southside. Um, the highest, uh, priced homes were, um, as you can see there, downtown Savannah at $623,875. Uh, th again, those are averages, so that can be a little misleading because um, uh, if you have you know five houses sell for $10 million, um, your average is going to go through the roof. Um, not, that's not what happened, but I mean that's just to, to just to be careful with statistics. They can be um, they can be a little misleading, but um, but then the next one is Skidaway. At four hundred and forty five hundred, sorry, sorry, five hundred forty one thousand um, dollars. But all around, fantastic year, two thousand twenty. Now I did, I broke it down into these neighborhoods. I mean, I, you could do, I, I could do seventy five neighborhoods in Savannah. There's neighborhoods everywhere. I think there's thirteen or fourteen different historic districts in in uh, downtown and midtown alone. Um, but I just, I decided decided these eight are are kind of are big enough to make it manageable you know in a video um, but if you're interested and you want more information about a specific neighborhood or even a, a, a couple of block I know there's neighborhoods off of it, like Norwood and Ferguson that are just a block two blocks uh, let me know and I can do those to you I can email them to you the next stat on the slide you'll see is the months of inventory um, this is pretty amazing that there are one, two, three neighborhoods that I broke down that have an inventory at one month or less, which is unheard of. That means there is absolutely no inventory. Uh, then the other ones, I mean, Historic Savannah uh, has 5.5 months of inventory, which when you look at this list looks bad, but 5.5 is pretty fantastic. So having 1.3, 1.65, 2.16, that's unheard of. So um, the real estate market is cooking along. Um, if you have any questions about this video or any statistics or anything about that has to do with real estate, please give me a buzz. And if you would like a breakdown of your neighborhood and what your house would be worth, because uh, it does vary from block to block. So um, these numbers might be a little misleading because there are some places in historic Savannah where the prices may have went, went up a lot more than 6.4%. Um, uh, same with um, any of the neighborhoods. So if you'd like some specific information on your piece of property, give me a holler at 912-844-9000 or reach out to me in any of the social media sites. Um, DM me, uh, text me. Um, again, it's 912-844-9000. Again, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I forgot to ask earlier, please like, subscribe, and share this video, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or any of the social media channels. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.